All right. So in our Forex Factory calendar um, events coming up for this week, today, Monday, um, April the 10th, we have at 10 o'clock the final wholesale inventories month over month. We have um, day one of the IMF meetings. What is IMF? <clears throat> IMF meetings are usually held twice a year and are attended by the representatives of IMF and the World Bank. Meetings are open to the press and officials usually talk with reporters throughout the day. A formal statement governing policy shifts and meeting objectives is released. After the meetings have concluded, both the comments and the statements can create market volatility. The International Monetary Fund, International Monetary Fund, that's IMF, and the day one of those meetings is today. At 4.15, which is after the market closes, FOMC member Williams will speak. These all, all three of these things do say they're yellow folders. We'll see how the day goes. Tomorrow, Tuesday, we've got several items. Most of them are yellow. Six o'clock, we've got the NFIB Small Business Index. The IMF meetings continue. FOMC member Goldsby, Goolsby, never heard of that person just yet, um, is speaking at 1.30, that's a yellow folder. And at six o'clock PM after the market closes, FOMC member Harker is speaking, that is an orange folder. And at 7.30, Kashkari is going to speak. On Wednesday, 8.30 in the morning, we've got red, I'm seeing red. CMI, CPI month over month, year over year, and core CPI month over month, all red folders before the market opens on Wednesday, okay? The IMF meetings will continue. 10.30, crude oil inventories may be more than a yellow folder, seeing that we're talking about some oil reductions and such and such. Oh, and it's also the first day of the G20 meetings, day one of G20, 10-year bonds auction. Both of those are orange folders. Two o'clock in the afternoon, FOMC meeting minutes. I wonder if that has to do with an inflation telling us whether there's going to be some inflation moves. That's a red. And the federal budget balance. Wednesday may be a day that you consider your straddles. If you're planning your straddles for this week or thinking about them, Wednesday may be the day. Thursday, um, <clears throat> 8.30 in the morning, we've got core PPI, month over month, PPI month over month, and unemployment all come in before the market opens, all red folders. Day four of the IMF meetings are happening. Natural gas storage at 10.30. Day two of G20, which is an orange folder, 101. In the afternoon, we have the 30-year bond auction. That is all Thursday. Got some red, yellow, and orange all on Thursday. Friday morning, because Fridays are always interesting trading days, 8.30 in the morning, core retail sales month over month, retail sales month over month, import prices month over month. At 8.45, FOMC member Waller is speaking before the market opens. That's going to be for a nice open. Yep. 9.15, capacity utilization rate, industrial production month over month. At 10 o'clock, we've got the University of Michigan Consumer Sentiments and the Inflation Expectations. This is where they ask a bunch of people that we don't know who they ask, how they feel about consumer stuff and inflation, and then they give us a report. But whoever the people are, they always say it's going to be a red folder or high volatility expected. Day five of the IMF, and then on Saturday, the IMF meetings will continue. We'll continue. Looking at the economic calendar for, I should pick this week and let me change my filter, see if anything else pops up that um, we didn't mention on there. We didn't mention on Forex. Give me the time, display the time. I don't know why it doesn't hold my settings to figure that out one day. Of course, I don't think about it until I'm on the call and then I want to use it. Okay, so in investing.com, looking to see if anything else interesting is happening this week that wasn't mentioned on Forex Factory. We got wholesale inventories, IMF meetings, the um, bill auctions are here. The red book comes out on Tuesday, um, which it shows here as a low volatility, but there's other books that are released at the same time. So sometimes those other books bring out volatility that we didn't know about. Um, the EIA short-term energy outlook is on Tuesday at 12 o'clock and the WASD report, not sure what that is, but it also comes out at 12. And both of these are showing medium and high volatility which it makes sense, our energy outlook, those things make sense that they would have 
that they would have some impact. Wednesday, the biggest thing is the CPI stuff, um, the refinery crude oil. That I mentioned that for Wednesday as well. We've got the FOMC minutes are coming out that afternoon. That's there. Thursday, we do have PPI, I see. Um, Four-week bill auctions, eight-week bill auction, the bond auctions. I'm just trying to make sure there's nothing that we don't, that we, nothing we, just, we don't see that blindsides us, Lord, because we don't want to be blindsided as we go. Um, I think that's all for this week. I think we hit everything under Forex Factory and investing.com. I believe that has covered what we need to know there. Coolie, coolie. See if I can get, but we do have some banks. Tilray is um, today after close. Greenbrier, whoever they are, was this morning before the open. CarMax. Tomorrow morning, um, skill soft tomorrow afternoon. Those don't look like banks. Delta is Thursday morning, progressive Thursday morning, info systems, fast and all. Those are Thursday morning. The WAFD bank, hmm, not sure who they are, Lakeland. Then Friday, uh, before the market opens, you've got BlackRock, PNC, Wells Fargo, Citibank. I don't know what these two, JP Morgan maybe, and I'm not sure what this second one says. Huh, though, so the banks really are showing up on Friday morning, it seems like, Friday before the market opens. Just one more thing to make Fridays be interesting um, as a trading day. 